It's been a while the, since the movie has released, but I shall be talking about it, albeit a little delay. Film is a biopic, and this time it's not a biopic of a historical character. It's not a biopic of a sports person. And kudos to Mother for picking out a proper character worthy of a biopic. Nambi Narayanan, India's space scientist. I'm going to deal with this whole uh, Nambi Narayan story at two levels. Obviously, the first and the contextual is the film itself. And my take on the film is going to be de everything else. The storyline makes for an interesting biography because Nambi Narayan grows in the backyards of the country. He's a scientist working on space research. Has the encouragement of Vikram Sarabhai. And is unfortunately caught up in a scandal. Alleged for having sold national secrets. Fights a very, very long legal battle and finally is cleared of it all. This story itself is told in a conversation between the protagonist, Nambi Narayan, played by the filmmaker himself, Madhavan, and told in an interview to Nakni Ado film star Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh has made it well, so it's not difficult to imagine him as the person who is doing the show. Well within himself, notwithstanding his predictable mannerisms, but he's good. It's just what the doctor ordered. And then there is, there are two major star groups in the film. One are the Actors, namely the protagonist, Nambi, his wife, Meena Nambi, played by Simran. Family members, scientists, colleagues, international players from various countries helping out India's space research in manners known or unknown. And then the villains in the piece, the police, the investigating agency, etc. Et Even People who know the family, and so typically India. We raise people to pedestals without cause and pull them down without reason. We, when we put them up the pedestal, we do so disproportionate to their achievements and greatness. And when we pull them down, we do so without any reason or rhyme. This happens with the life of Nambi Narayan when he's caught in investigative, in an investigation leading to a crime of which he is finally perched. Very well stated narrative in the sense that the build up to his international career, what he brings home as a scientist, except that I have this lurking doubt always in my mind about these very, very successful scientist administrators. Are they doing, are they successful administrators at the cost of science? Or are they that unique mix of amazing scientists and great administrators? I hope it is the latter. We've had a celebrated president in the country whose credentials as a scientist have been spoken in high voices. Do they publish papers? Do they do great research? Do they really get mileage merely because they are scientists but great administrators? Moot question in the context of the film, but questions that rise for consideration in the context of what I'm going to do in the later part of the film. Ready? Going back to the basic part of the film and its narrative, amazing performance from Madhavan. 
the, even his English is styled in a manner that suits the character. It's a very good studied performance from Simran as Meena and Meena. Madhavan and Simran don't need bedroom scenes to show that they have a great chemistry. The middle class moorings are extremely well nuanced. Go for rocketry, worth seeing. Now the later part. There's a new parallel growing where people now talk about rocketry as seeing Nambi Narayanan as the scapegoat of a systemic evil. And it's not at all surprising which group in a profiled India are going up with this narrative. Look at them. Somebody put it up on Facebook the other day saying it takes a scientist like Nambi Narayanan a decade and more while it takes Zubair just a few days. I think this comment deserves to be ignored with contempt. The comment that Zubair walks out fast and Nambi Narayanan is in jail for a long time is not comparing apples and oranges, it's comparing apples and cacti. It comes from a shocking ignorance and a profile pigeonhole and that needs summary rejection. There's a new sense of fervor and patriotism about everything because I sit at home and I have nothing else to do but comment. Therefore, it's fine. My patriotism is a 150 rupee ticket in a night show in a multiplex. My conscience is clean by saying, look what the system did to Nambi. The system does this to thousands of Nambis. And when it does it to, it does it to people, it makes no difference whether Nambi is a scientist or Nambi is a crook. The fact that today systemic investigations are suspect is a political, it is systemic. All those great patriots who are thumping their chests in sympathy for Nambi, you don't automatically fall into the anti-Zubair stance unless you are blissfully ignorant or brazenly colored. Nambi Narayanan deserves all the accolades that he deserves. He needs all the sympathy that this country can give. But to associate that with a government is wrong because investigations in this country are always puppets in the hand of whichever government is ruling the country. Sit down, you intellectuals, and find out if your voice can touch that labyrinth of a faulty, crumbling system. If you really think you must salute the spirit of Nambi Narayanan, head there, but just say it's a good film. Thank you. As I sign off, thank you, Abhinav and Dhatu. Good day.